From time to time, when I have an idea, I like to voice it rather than write it down. My brain works faster than I can write or even type. That's why I've been experimenting with various software voice recognition programs. They are the ones that promise to convert your voice into text. Today, I want to show you how you can dictate into Evernote and a quick little workaround for how it can turn your voice messages into text. Hi, I'm Dave Edwards, and welcome back to my periodic series on how Evernote can be a real help with your productivity journey. I post these videos here on YouTube, and I'd really love it if you would subscribe. It would mean a lot to me and encourage me to produce more videos like this. And of course, it'll mean that you won't miss any of these segments. The first speech recognition systems were actually invented way back in 1952 by Bell Labs. They only recognized numbers, not words. Then about 10 years later, IBM developed Shoebox, which understood 16 words in English. By 2001, speech recognition technology had achieved close to 80% accuracy, but they were kind of clunky. The advancement in voice recognition came to support medical documentation, and even the military has been experimenting with speech recognition for its fighter aircraft. Now, Evernote, of course, allows you to record audio and place those audio files into your notes. I've showed you that feature before. And while Evernote itself doesn't have a feature that transcribes what you're recording, there's a very simple workaround that gets the job done. I'm going to show you first how to do this on a Mac, but you can do it on other systems, and it's pretty much the same. You go to Settings, then Keyboard. Click on the Dictation tab and activate Dictation. Then click Accept. Now you're set to dictate into Word or any other program. Now, with Evernote, you open a note, go to the menu bar, Hit Edit, Start Dictation, or you can press the function key twice. Now, whatever you say will be typed into your note. If you're using a Windows device, go to the Windows menu, Settings, Ease of Access, Speech, and then turn on Speech Recognition. Then go to Privacy, click on Microphone. Allow the apps to access your microphone, so turn it on. From there, go back to Evernote, open a note, hit Edit, Start Dictation, or press the Windows and H key, and then you get started. I'd suggest you try it. I've dictated a lot of my blog post articles and even video scripts this way. If you have Evernote shortcuts you'd like to share, hey, post them below or send them to me at daveedwards at outlook.com because I'd like to share them with everybody else. Oh, and one more thing, please consider signing up for my weekly newsletter on productivity, leadership, and management. Just go to daveedwardsmedia.com, click on the contact button. That's all you gotta do. I'm Dave Edwards. Thanks for clicking on my video.